Hello, welcome back to Hostify. My name is Alex, and today we're going to have an updated video on how to factory set a Unify access point. So there's a few ways you can do this. You can either do this via SSH, so command line into the actual device and, and give it an actual command to reset itself. Uh, you can also do it from the Unify controller if you don't have any access via SSH to it, and you can press remove. Or if everything goes wrong, you can do the reset button on the device itself. So in this video, we're going to show you all three steps on and how to do it as well. So there's a written guide. Uh, to this video in the description down below there's a link link to that and it goes over all the screenshots and what exactly you need to do to get to the reset buttons so you can do it from the, the actual gear itself so we'll do that first so go to the unify uh, controller and you've got the devices and you've got the unify access point here and then you click on settings and scroll down right to the bottom and then click on remove and what that will do is delete the uh, AP and then you, the device will go into factory reset state. The next method is to use SSH. We can do this two ways. If you happen to be on the local network, you can use the built-in terminal on your Windows or Mac OS PC. So open the terminal and then you can SSH uh, using the username that you find within the Unify controller. So it's username at 192.168.1.228, obviously the IP address that your particular device is on. And then the password as well. So I'm going to try and find the password in the Unify controller. So what you do is go to settings and then down to system and then advanced. And then you scroll down, you can see there's the host name and then there's the username and password as well. So I copy that password now. And then you can actually SSH into the actual device itself. The other way you can do this is to use the debug terminals. If you don't happen to be uh, with the device itself, what you can do is use another device to log into it from it. Uh, so you can use a Unify switch to do that. So you click on settings, uh, scroll down to debug. And then what you can do is use the built-in terminal that's actually on this device. I have found with Unify 8.0.104, it can be a bit hit or miss, but it, has, it is actually working here. So what you do is you're SSH from the Unify controller into the Unify switch, and then you can SSH from the Unify switch to the Unify AP. So again, we'll just demo that now. So SSH, uh, it was my name at 192.168.1.228 and then you can just press Y for yes if it's an unknown uh, client it's connecting to and then copy and paste the password and then you're into the, the terminal as well. Uh, on the new unified GUI you can't actually move this around if you click off it it's going to leave it it's a bit of a downgrade uh, in earlier versions of Unify it would keep the little window active for you so I find that if you need to check some stuff within Unify if you can use the built-in client that's in your Windows or Mac OS machine. Again, if you aren't local to the uh, actual device itself, this is a really good alternative. So you can see it's exactly the same sort of process, but we're going to do it within the uh, Unify GUI now. So the next step is to copy and paste the little command we've got on the written guide. So there's a link down below for that. Uh, it says syswrapper.sh restore dash default and then alphanand sat default and then alphanand again. So we're going to copy that and then we'll Put that into the uh, command line there and press return. So I can see now my Unify AP is glowing white, sort of rebooting. Uh, it says now connection to the AP as exited. Uh, remote close the connection for the US 8151 switch to the UAP. So we're going to close that and we should wait for this device to come back up. What we'll do in the meantime is delete the, uh, we'll del actually delete the uh, AP from the Unify controller. So when it comes back on, we can actually adopt it again. Next, we're going to reset the Unify AP using the reset button on the back of the device. I've got a sim ejection tool here, so we're going to push the button in for 10 seconds. Once done, the blue light will go out, and after a couple of seconds, the light should come back as white. So the light's on for white, and after a little while, the Unify AP will start flashing white to indicate that it has been reset and it's ready to be adopted. If you want to learn more about Hostify, visit our website hostify.com. We do hosting for Unify, USP, and TP-Link Yamada. For network consulting, we have Hostify Pro, and we can help with network projects big and small. Visit the website hostify.com forward slash pro and hire an expert today. For any questions about Unify, UISP, or Team Link Armada, let our support team know support at hostify.com, and our team will be happy to help you out. Once again, thanks for watching this video. My name's Alex, and we'll see you again next time.